day 38. Now we're going to continue with Genesis 6.11 because the sources on this verse in particular are quite interesting and uh, remarkable. I think you'll like this one. The earth became corrupt before God and the earth was filled with lawlessness or this word Hamas which is like violence. Um, and we've discussed this and here they're discussing the difference between the word Hamas, violence, and the word Getzel, or robbery, when used in the Holy Scriptures. So they're defining the difference here. Uh, the difference is merely in the amount misappropriated by violent means. If, if the object one robs is worth more than a certain ancient copper coin known as a pruta, the term Hamas is used, whereas if it is worth less than that, the Torah refers to it as Getzel. So what's interesting about that is if it's above, let's say, nowadays, maybe a nickel or a penny, it's Hamas, and if it's under that, it's Getzel. The people of the generation of the flood devised a nefarious scheme to avoid, uh, of avoiding to become guilty of having misappropriated at one time more than the worth of a pruta. When someone brought a basket of fruit to the market offering to sell it, he would be mobbed by people, each of whom helped himself to less than the value of that coin. By using this subterfuge, the party helping himself to fruit without paying for it escaped being cited before a judge who did not enter claim or er, who did not entertain claims below that amount. So they worked the system by taking uh, each one of them something less than the value of a pruta. But when you do it with multiple people, if multiple people do this. There's nothing left. So they would each take just enough to be under that amount, but it would still uh, totally leave the guy empty. He would have nothing left to sell, and he would lose out on all that money. How did God outwit these people? He would deprive them of the excess wealth they had accumulated by such means at the times that they died. And this is how Ibn Ezra int uh, interprets Job 4.21, which he explains as God depriving such robbers of the excess money that they had accumulated at the time they died so that they would not be punished or so that they would be punished by not having benefited by Torah knowledge. So they had Torah knowledge, but they used it uh, in the wrong way.